So in this video, we're going to talk about a new AI image generator, which could be a perfect alternative for your mid-journey and stable diffusion. So yeah, I'm talking about CT Dream, which can be used to create insane level of human realistic images and much more. So yeah, this tool is able of doing all those things that your mid-journey tool can do. So why waste that $10, right? So yeah, this is Osman from Skillcurb and let's explore CT Dream out. All right, guys, so here I am in the home page of cgdream.ai. So this is the home page where you get a few generations and a lot of key AI features that this AI tool offers you, right? So this AI tool is a perfect free alternative for your mid-journey and stable diffusion. So if you cannot afford uh, to pay for a mid-journey or if you cannot afford like expensive GPU to use stable diffusion in your computer, uh, so the CG Dream could be a perfect alternative for you and the results uh, you can create out of that is absolutely fantastic. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, with my Google account in CG Dream. All right, so once you're logged in, so these are some kind of creations that you can find in CG Dream. Like take a look at this one, right? So you can go ahead and uh, create some kind of realistic images as well. You can create realistic portraits, some fantasy images like you can see. We have amazing architecture right over here in this images and the results look absolutely perfect. Uh, then we have this portrait of uh, Elon Musk. All right, this looks absolutely fantastic as well. And you can see we have uh, some landscapes right over here. So you guys can see, you know, uh, you can create all kind of images uh, with CG Dream. So we're going to go ahead and test out few use cases in CG Dream and see how they're going to turn out. And we're going to also compare some of the generations with our mid journey as well. All right. All right. So first of all, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off uh, with human portraits. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in my prompt like middle aged man with a beard and glasses, serious expression, portrait, hazel eyes, looking slightly upwards, business attire and all kind of keywords. Because, you know, keywords are really important in CG Dream. You have to include like HDR, 8K, high contrast, and these kind of things, all right? So these are basically the same prompts uh, that we use in Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey. We used to use uh, keywords and tags in that. Similarly, we're going to do it to that as well. Then on the right side, you guys can see we have a few options of settings. So first of all, you can choose your aspect ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and do a uh, 2 by 3 because I'm taking uh, human portraits right now. And then you can select number of variations. I'm going to select as two. Then you have the option of prompt guidance. Okay. So what it does is basically if you go ahead and increase it all the way to high. So it will follow a lot of your uh, prompt. Okay. And if you go ahead and do all the way to a uh, minimum. So that will allow AI to create the generation for you. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and do it as default, which was five. Then you can choose between quality and speed. Uh, seed and negative prompt. You can also input negative prompts right over here, okay? So now without wasting any time, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, this simple prompt to test out this amazing AI image generator. All right, so here are the results you guys. Like, take a look at this, right? So we have a perfect image of a middle-aged man with beard and glasses, serious expression, and take a look at the bokeh effect into that. Like, everything looks top-notch, right? Like, I'm very much amazed uh, with the quality and clarity of the image. This can easily compete with stable diffusion images or mid-journey portraits and still let's just say if you're not okay uh, with the clarity of that image so you can always click on this x2 button so this will increase the image resolution for you with ai so let's just say if i go ahead and click on that so this is automatically uh, gonna increase the pixel and enhance the image for you now take a look at the resolution of this image right no matter how much i zoom in it's not pixelating and the image is crystal clear right so this is how you can beautifully enhance your image with the help of CG Dream as well to get the perfect resoluted image, okay? All right, so another really cool feature you can get with CG Dream is these filters, right? CG Dream basically offers you more than 300 filters for you depending on your prompt. Uh, so let's just say you are creating some abstract, you are creating some like image of old man, Vikings, epic beard mustache in here, food beverage like anything you like. So depending on your prompt, it's going to suggest or recommend your filters that you can use and create absolutely perfect results, right? So let's just say I go ahead and type in my simple prompt that a unicorn with a rainbow mane uh, surrounded by floating stars, all right? So this is a very simple prompt. We don't have any keywords, any tag or nothing, right? So we're going to go ahead and take help from filters from there, okay? So I'm going to click on filters. So it's recommending me now. All right, so straight away, it's saying you can go ahead and choose logo 
Redmond by artificial guy boris all right or you can use the rambo filter because we're talking about unicorn you can choose the fluid illustration or you know let's just go ahead and choose uh the rambo filter and we have another very cool filter which is fairy tales all right i'm gonna go ahead and select that okay so now we have two filters we can go ahead and increase or decrease uh the scale of these filters as well so let's just go ahead and generate this and see how they're gonna turn out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and create this image again without the filters, right? Just to get the idea like how are they gonna fit and without the filter feature, okay? All right, so take a look at the results, you guys. So first image we have is with filters, right? So take a look at the image, right? So we have an amazing unicorn uh, with stars in the background. Like take a look at the colors, the clarity into that, the detail, everything looks top notch, right? And the second image, this is without filter and clearly that doesn't look good at all. So this is how uh, the filter feature carry great importance uh, in CG Dream. So it's gonna be recommended by you automatically. You don't have to do any effort. Just type in your prompt, uh, select a recommended your favorite filter and boom, your image will be created absolutely perfect, right? All right, so now I went ahead and test out some of the more uh, human portraits. So first of all, I had this uh, image of an elderly man with deep wrinkles, a gray hair and a kind smile gaze of the uh, side with intense brown eye. Like take a look at this generation, right? These look absolutely perfect. So this is our first image and this is the second one. Like take a look at the bouquet effect. Uh, the focus on the face, the lighting, this is totally looking like a stable diffusion image, no doubt in that, all right? So next one, we have image of a young woman with curly red hair, freckled face and a bright smile uh, with green eyes, uh, blonde hair and yeah, you guys can see this one looking absolutely perfect as well. And then uh, we have a young man with a chiseled jawline, intense stare portrait, dark green eyes and yeah, the creation, the images for that turned out really amazing. And if you take a look, as some of the creations uh, without the human portrait like the regular one. So I used uh, this filter of woman realistic and you guys can see the image turned out absolutely magnificent, right? We don't see any deformation, the portrait effect, the everything turned out really, really good. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and do human portraits uh, with CG Dream, so this one could be the best free AI mid journey or stable diffusion alternative for you guys, okay? All right, so now let's just go ahead and test out a few landscapes because those are really important and Midjourney and Stable Diffusion creates very beautiful landscapes. So we're going to see how CG Dream uh, is going to perform in that. So first of all, I'm going to type in my prompt that majestic mountain range at sunrise, snow cape peaks, vibrant colors, detailed texture, sharp focus. And, all right, this will be our prompt. Let's just see what filters CG Dream is going to recommend to us. Okay, so he's saying you can choose mountains, all right, I'm going to choose mountains and landscape enhancer, all right, this one looks good, I'm going to select that as well. And um, winter, I'm going to select the winter filter as well, three are perfectly fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and generate uh, the result, but before that we need to go ahead and select our aspect ratio, change that to 16 by 9 because obviously uh, 16 by 9 is the one for your landscape. So now let's just go ahead and generate and see our results okay all right guys so here we go here is our landscape image of a ct dream so we created majestic mountain range and sunrise snow cape peaks vibrant color so you guys can see uh, we use uh, three filters right over here so this is our first image and this is the second one right so yeah, the landscape turned out really really good uh, we have decent amount of clarity into that uh decent detail everything looks top notch right so ct dream has its own way of creating um, landscapes for you. So if you take a look at our, our second image, so this was our second landscape we typed in a prompt, serene beach scene with a clear blue water and white sand, palm trees, swing, vibrant colors and all those tags. And yeah, this first image and this is our second image for our serene beach scene. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to go ahead and uh, create landscapes uh, with CG Dream, so this could be a very good tool for you as well, right? Okay, now let's just go ahead and test out some anime characters uh, with CG Dream. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and type uh, both of my prompts and let's just wait for the results. All right, so this is uh, the first result of our anime character. Cute anime girl with long pink hair, big blue eyes, wearing a school uniform. So you guys can clearly see the anime didn't turn out that good uh, in our CG Dream. So this is the second one. It is looking half decent, but it created kind of a realistic image i totally right over here strong anime warrior with spiky black hair 
wearing a sword and it created kind of a realistic image for me, right? So if you were to go ahead and create animes, so I would say you should pass on uh, on CG Dream, okay? Okay, now let's just go ahead and test out how our CG Dream is going to perform by creating cartoon character for you. So for that, I'm going to go ahead and type in my prompt and let's just go ahead and wait for the result, okay? All right, here we go, guys. This is looking absolutely perfect. So I basically, I chose two filters. First one is 3D cartoon animal. Second one is 3D Redmond V1. All right, so I type in my prompt, cheerful cartoon cat with a big smile, colorful bow tie. Uh, exaggerated features and the cartoon characters turned out absolutely fantastic here is the second image you guys can see looking really really good uh like the feathers everything in this picture is top notch right and if you take a look at the second prompt so this was funny cartoon dog with sloppy ears and a goofy grind and you guys can see the results turned out absolutely perfect and take a look at the second one wow this is looking really really good as well right Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and create some fantasy images with CG Dream. First of all, I'm going to type in my prompt a cat with sunglasses and a crown sitting on a golden throne, okay? So I'm going to select my aspect ratio as 2 by 3 is good. Let's select the filters. Let's see which one we're going to get. Okay, so it's saying royal, golden, cheese, fur. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, first four from here and see how they're going to turn. I'm just experimenting into that just to get the uh, unique results out of it, okay? So yeah, let's just go ahead and generate, and I'm gonna go ahead and generate three, four more of uh, the fantasy images, and let's just wait for the results. All right, so here you go, guys. Take a look at our first image. I use four filters over here, and CD Dream is basically all about uh, creativity, and I type in from a cat with sunglasses and a crown sitting on a golden throne. So take a look at the results. Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. It doesn't look like some kind of a fantasy image. It looks very, very realistic, right? I'm very much amazed by the results. Then the second one uh, we had uh, is of a dragonfly with a wizard hat casting a magical spell. Like, take a look at this. Okay, this is the second one. All right, I think the first one looked much better in that. Then uh, we had a dog with fairy wings and a magic wand floating above a meadow, okay? All right, this isn't like floating above a meadow, but yeah. You guys get an idea, right? The results are very realistic and very uh, fantasy, right? All right, so then we have the last creation, which is a rabbit wearing a knight's armor. So you guys can see, it looks very, very cute, uh, yet very funny, but you guys can get an idea. You can go ahead and create amazing fantasy images with CG Dream without any problem, all right? All right, so now we're going to go ahead and compare uh, some images, some use cases with BitJourney just to get the idea like how much capable of this CG Dream.ai is. So first of all, uh, we have both images of human portraits. So on left, we have image of CG Dream and on right, we have of MidJourney. So you can get an idea like, you know, the CG Dream, it has its own style of creating and the MidJourney has its own. If you want to go ahead and get perfect results, so the both tools can be a really good use for you, right? So the next use case could be landscape. So yeah, on left we have CG Dream. The prompt was basically a raw photo of a mountain, lake, landscape, clear water, a highly detailed photorealistic, altruistic photo. Uh, so you guys can get an idea. Both of the results are very, very similar and you can use both of the images without any problem, okay? Then we have some kind of a complex image. So the prompt was a group of friends celebrating a birthday party at a rooftop restaurant during sunset. So yeah, both images turned out really, really good. CG Dream is much on the realistic side, but the Mid Journey one is much on the colors. So yeah, the colors are really, really accurate in Mid Journey, but CG Dream image uh, is really, really good. It's really usable, right? It's no problem at all. Okay, then the last one, it was some kind of an interesting image, a majestic lion roaring at the peak of a misty jungle waterfall with the rays of sunlight piercing through the dense foliage. And you guys can clearly see both of the images turn out really, really good. CG Dream is just uh, much on the realistic side, uh, like much on the realistic colors, but yeah, both images turn out absolutely perfect, right you guys? So here you go guys, this was the exploration of the new AI tool CG Dream a very competitive alternative uh, for stable diffusion and mid journey. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.